Hey guys, what is going on? This is King of Mall, and today I'm coming back at you with some more. Well, actually, no. It's actually not some more. NW2 Free For All Live commentary. Today, I'm doing a little voiceover. Um, so, the gameplay in the background is pre recorded, just kind of something for you guys to watch. But I wanted to sit down and talk about this topic. Um, I seen this topic trending yesterday on Twitter, so I really just want to sit down. And I figured I could make a really good video about it today. It's the topic of um, top seven favorite YouTubers. Now this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going to kind of extend the topic into three categories. My top seven, honorable mentions, and my friends that do YouTube. I'm going to start out with my friends. Oh, sorry guys, it's late here. And I just had a drink in my throat. Is, I'm still thirsty, so I'm going to try my best to push through this commentary. But I might have to pause at times kind of like that. So I'm sorry for that, but we're going to get right into this. So basically, um, my friends, I have four friends, um, IRL, I, I guess, kind of IRL friends, but four really good friends, four guys that are like brothers to me, that do this stuff too, and they are Norza, MRU, OSR, and Catfish Soup. Now, Norza, I met through Call of Duty along with MRU, and, um, Norza, uh, me and him have a little bit of history, not really, just a few months, kind of, but right when, um, Asylum started up, Right when me, Knight, and MRU were like, all right, we started this team. Who should be our initial recruits? MRU just looked at me. He's like, bro, get your boy Norza. He's like, I'm going to go recruit him. He went and recruited him. So, yeah. So, right away, Norza. Because um, Norza, actually, I was looking for a team on Seven Sins. This is how I met him. He commented. He's like, bro, to start your own team, the standards are ridiculous. And I have clips in this net. You know, he showed me some stuff. And I added him on Xbox. And we played and all that good stuff. And it was a lot of fun. And he's been chill ever since I met him. He's a really good guy. So, shout out to Norza, man. Next on my list for my friend is MRU. I mean, can't really go over too much, dude. I just made you your 1,000 um, subscriber tribute video. And I mean, shit, look at how far you're coming. Your growth is fucking amazing. I really, um, just kind of our history, just real quick, like I said, because I went over it all in the video, but um, that game on Karachi, man, that free-for-all. And Nuda kept getting into our game that night and all that shit, and look where the fuck we are now. It's, it's truly amazing. I, like, I've seen both of us grow. Like we, I had 30 subs when I first started chilling with you, and now I'm almost at 200, and you're at 1,000. I mean, it's just fucking crazy. Now, the next guy is an OSR. He's my um, IRL buddy, Ryan. He kind of makes videos periodically. He has about 15 subs, and he's made about three videos. So, I mean, basically, like, based of what he, off of what he's done, he's doing really, really good. It's just um, it's something he likes to do, but I just don't think it's something he loves to do. I mean... He has a lot of fun doing it, but he just doesn't daily upload. Like, he just kind of uploads periodically. I mean, he has three videos, 40 views, 20 views, 15 views. And I mean, honestly, when you're just kind of uploading periodically, that is not too bad at all. I and mean, you know what? He has 11 subs. Like I said, all the three things. I mean, that's no problem. If he honestly um, started doing it daily, like I do, I think that this kid could grow big. He has a lot of potential. And then I'm going to get back in the um, catfish soup here, Austin. He's returning to YouTube in a couple weeks. He's taking about a year break off. He's about 340 subs, and he does really good every video. He honestly, he's put a lot of work into his channel. He's been, um, his first video was a few years ago, Saintro 3 or 4 walkthrough. I remember making him the thumbnail for that so long ago. I wanted to check out how long ago his first video was. He has about 340 subs, like I said. He kind of posts on and off. Yeah, Saintro 4 walkthrough part 1 was posted two years ago. I remember making that thumbnail, and it was, it's just crazy to think that, like, I don't know, something so long ago. So like I said, he's grinded on and off for two years now on his channel, and you know, he has, he has something to show for it. So this time he comes back, he hopes playing fully. We recorded a video last night. He said he wants to record some videos just to have stock, because he is unable to record every day due to work and all that stuff. So he just wants to be able to have videos stocked up, so that way um, on days he can't record, he has something already pre-made that he can ship out there. And like I said, I wanted to make this little friends list just due to the fact that all these guys, these four guys, they're like brothers to me. And I show these guys, honestly, more support than any one of my top seven, any honorable mention, anyone I follow on YouTube. So I wanted to get these out of the way first. And that's really why I didn't want to put them in my top seven, because honestly, I'm like, I can only choose like three other guys that um, I really watch every day. So like, these are like the top the top guys and my top seven are kind of like guys i don't know like kind of i guess you could say like i fanboy in a way you know stuff like that but first off um oh man let me get a drink here real quick ah good juice box <laughs> all right guys so um we're getting we're gonna get into the honorable mentions now and basically my honorable mentions are gonna be like i'm gonna go through my sub box and tell you everyone who is not in my top seven i'm just gonna kind of talk about them where i start with them so it's just gonna be an alphabetical order so if you guys kind of know who like i follow and who i talk about my sub you guys are gonna know the top seven before they're even announced if you follow along 
All right, so let's get started here. First off, we have Bacon Country. I've been watching him for about two years now. Ever since he got away from his trolling on ice and got into more serious videos, more serious cut comms and all that good stuff, I've honestly been loving his channel. He's a great NHL YouTuber. I've, he's probably, like, the second most popular next to 2BC. Oh, man. I, like I said, I recorded this earlier, and I talked for 20 minutes straight, and I fucked up, so I got to remake it. So I'm trying the best I can here. Like, it's just kind of hard after making like, a 20 minute straight commentary to come back and do it. But like I said, I'm going to fight through that. So after Bacon Country, we have Chris Smoove. I've been following Chris Smoove for fucking six, seven years. Back when he made NBA 2K11 videos when I first started. NBA 2K11, best game ever made. That's like, um, that's a line from the soundtrack that Snoop Dogg wrote in that. It's a, it's a great fucking game. Best 2K all time, in my opinion. And Smoove was making 2K videos and MW2 videos at that time. And he was actually grinding all this stuff out while he was in college, too. So, I mean, he's older, but it's amazing to see all the things he's done. He's, um... Sponsorships through um, PS4, the, all the upgrade commercials. He played games with David Ortiz, John Wall. Like, he made commercials with those guys. And honestly, that's just so fucking cool to think of. Like, some guy just making YouTube videos. Honestly, can get to that point. Like, I don't know. I don't really watch him as much anymore. Probably a couple times a week, but not not that much. Maybe when 2K17 comes out, I'll be able to follow his My Player Series a little more because those are always really, really sweet. But he's really the only basketball player I really watch, guys. So um, we're going to move it ahead now. Din. Dan is someone more recent. I I'm um, sorry, watching him towards the end of his phase career because he always did the My Dad Reacts videos. So like some of them would be kind of interesting. But now after he's um joined Red, he's actually posting more Call of Duty content. I like to watch more of his streams and his videos. I still love him. I still watch him a lot. He's definitely one of like my favorite people in the community at the moment for sure. Moving on now, down the list we have Phase Apex. Phase Apex is a guy. He's starting to post more Call of Duty videos, and I love I love all the Phase guys. So I mean, there's gonna be a few Phase guys on here, but um, Apex is starting to post more COD videos, and um, I watch him probably four out of seven days a week. Just due to the fact that like the other three days are those cringe videos. And honestly, the cringe videos I just kind of skip through. At the beginning, I kind of watched them, but. They're kind of fading out my interest. I mean, keep doing them, they get great views, but honestly, it's just not my thing. After uh, um, Apex, is, I almost said that, but after um, Apex is Blaziken, Blaziken, I'd say I watch six out of seven days a week, but um, there's this guy, there's this YouTubers, honestly, that I enjoy more than him. So, like, sorry guys, I almost sneezed, but there's YouTubers I just enjoy more than him. That's why um, he's not my top seven list, but he's kind of like on my daily watch, if you know what I guys, if you know what I guys, if. You guys know what I mean. Fuck, what the fuck was wrong with me right there? Like I said, it's hard doing this 15 minutes later, trying to get a drink and coming back. But we're pushing through. I did miss one on the list. It's on Cleveland's very own. Nick, he hangs out with the Faze guys a lot. That's kind of how I found out about him. He was, he's honestly like probably like my number one honorable mention. Like, I love when he uploads. His vlogs are pretty sweet. I like his vlogs with the Faze guys more, but it's pretty cool to watch his vlogs from back home with Tristan and all them guys. So, shout out to him. He's definitely up there. Him and Din, for sure. Um, but I mean, Blaziken too, I love him. Then Blue, I've been watching a lot more Blue recently. Like, I got, I was starting to like, because like I said, I'm new to the community. So like, right before he went to the face house, um, I started hearing more about him. I started watching him. He went to the face house. He fucking hit that insane clip with the dab. And like I said, I'm learning more about the community every day. So like, honestly, I'm learning about more YouTubers, you know, more popular people, more stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not ashamed to like, admit that I'm more new. But like, like I said, I'm trying to teach myself like, the history and teach myself like, what's in still. So after Blue's Sensor, Sensor, he's starting his new MLG team. Good luck to you with that, man. I know there's a lot of drama right now, kind of talking about, like, you're out of phase and everything. You're still, I know you're still part of phase, but you're just running your own team and all that good stuff. So, dude, shout out to you. Hopefully, you can win a championship with them. That would be so dope. Then we got Phase Clan, just for the montages, obviously. Fakey, because, dude, I've known about Phase Fakey forever. I mean, who doesn't know Phase Fakey? You know, it's cool just to kind of watch some of his throwback videos sometimes. Then we got Jeb. Jeb is awesome. Jeb, like... He was like a three day a week to me guy like we was going. Then he was like a four day a week. And honestly, he's starting to get a seven out of seven days a week. Like him and CBO and Din are like top three. I kinda keep adding my top top honorable mentions as I go. Oh man. So um after Jeb, like Jeb's videos are just awesome. COD every day. I'd love to get into his game. MRU gets into his games fucking like every day and I don't know how. Like it's just so insane. After Jeb is Nikon. I started I watched Nikon a lot at first, but like when all you do is vlog, honestly. Like, light, everyone's life is repetitive in a way. So it's not that his vlogs are bad. But like, I've kind of been at the point where I'm skipping through them more than watching them now. Just for highlights and all that. After that's Tico. Tico's a guy I watch a couple times a week. He's pretty sweet. He's, you know, he's pretty cool, pretty chill. I don't know why. I just really don't 
get drawn to his videos every day, but it's all good. Then, you know, we got Red Formula, G Fuel, Hard Knock TV. They did a lot of logic interviews, so I'm subbed to them. Jared NHL, he's the man from back in the day. I fucking had DM'd them. Honestly, I DM'd them when I had, like, 20 subs, and he was just like, I'm just like, dude, like, you have 5K, and, like, I like I can't even imagine getting that. He's like, dude, just do your thing. Honestly, when you get your first 50 subs, it's going to feel better than your first 500, and yet so right. So shout out to them, man. He gave me um, fucking hope at the beginning. Now we got Kiwis, Logic, um, Logic, I just follow him because I love his music, and he does, and hopefully he starts posting gaming videos, he's supposed to few, we got Maru, who else, we got Nature. Nature. I watch on occasion, it's crazy to think about how he was an optic, and now he's like, becoming friends with FaZe and all that stuff, then Nord and Shat, Norza, I did skip a few at the top, by the way, so, um, Asylum Sniping, obviously I'm subbed to them, and I'm um, Catfish Soup, I didn't mention him too, but now I'm just kind of going on the list and skipping over my top seven. So Norza, then we got one of them gamers, and this guy, one of them gamers, has been with me since I was um, at like 10 subs. He fucking somehow found me, and he's commenting on my videos, he gave me a shout out, he's like, get this kid to 15 th subs, you know, start him off, and now to think, let's see, let's click the live sub count, what am I at now? I mean, it's just amazing to think, let's see, 186, fuck, so close to 200, hopefully we can hit it tomorrow, that'd be so dope. Honestly, I figured out, in the past three days, I've gained about a little over 40 subs, in the past, like, week before that, I only need, like, 20, so, guys, this is amazing. The growth is seriously so fucking amazing, you guys don't even know. So, please keep going. Keep grinding for me. I fucking love you guys. So, yeah. Then we have Pomage. Pomage is just so sick, like, every day, you know, sometimes when I see, like, MW2 posted or, like, I hit an insane clip or anything, I have to go check out Pomage. And then Pomage plays kind of a second channel. I don't really watch too many of his videos in a second channel, but, you know, I'm just sub because sometimes he does post some, you know, gameplays there, too, and I like to watch, because, like, watching better people... Helps me learn so much when playing um, COD and everything. So that's the reason why I like to watch like full gameplays. That's also Tico too. I'm subbed to him. I got really. I just um, skipped over it because Tico too is still kind of new. Tico's second channel. Then after Maj plays, oh yeah, OSR. I already talked about him. Like I kind of always um kind of like remind myself not to talk about people I skipped over or the people like that are gonna be in my top. So then after um. Oh, Star Scares, he's like my news guy. He's like the news channel I watch. Like, any interesting stories, like, I'll just kind of, like, look at his headlines every day, and if I see something interesting that I haven't really heard about, I'll go over there, check it out, watch it. Then we have Soar, obviously, so, you know, sub to the team channels. Crude, Strobe, Strobe's coming back as well as MC, SSS, Sniper Wolf. I love her videos. She is actually, like, she's my favorite girl YouTuber. And then we have Tensor. Watch him on occasions, watch his streams occasionally. And yeah, that's about it. So now we can finally get into these top fucking seven YouTubers. Alright. <laughs> so we're just going to start this right off real, real quick after I grab a drink real quick. Alright guys, so the first guy on the list is my man, Phase Adapt. Phase Adapt was honestly the first Phase person that I ever got into. Like, I don't know, like like I said, I haven't been around just the past kind of half a year, I guess you could say six months, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I know people are kind of weird about that stuff, but so yeah, he was like the first phase guy I ever got into. Then from there, I kind of expanded and started watching all different kind of people, and like I said, now I'm kind of, you know, at the point to where I know, like, most of the people in the community, most of the big names. So, um, yeah, I like Adapt. I love his videos, man. I've watched, seriously, like, I've caught up for, like, the probably past good year and a half. I've seen, like everyone like when I first started watching them guys like I had like a two hour ride home and I, I seriously just watched like phase videos the whole time like I got so hooked right like I just love, I just love their videos and the fact he still plays Call of Duty and still hits fucking stinker is just so insane to me so I'm gonna keep on the Call of Duty topic to um kind of keep this top seven going number two is Rain after finding Adapt and expanding on um, my interest into all the other phase guys Rain honestly this takes me away like I said, still plays Call of Duty, his vlogs are fucking hilarious, and he's just a man, I mean, he's Norton fucking chat, when I got into that free from with, with him, you guys know how excited I was, and seriously guys, it's just, I love watching him every day, I can't believe I got a fucking hit marker that game, but, you know, what are you gonna do? So after Rain, um, this is gonna kind of be an off the wall one, I think, to some people, but, Tommy Temper, I have in my top seven. I love going back and watching his old videos. I know he's so busy with FaZe now because he's like the owner and everything that he has to like do all the business and all that stuff. But like I honestly can go back and watch his old MW2 videos, his fucking free-for-alls and everything. Like that guy was just so good back in the day. I really, really would hope to see him turn to COD someday. That would be so awesome to see Timber turn to COD. My last Call of Duty YouTuber is um, Nuda in my top 7. Nuda is so fucking hilarious. Every fucking video I watch, I laugh my ass off. Like, every time Nuda uploads, I just know, like, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be fucking great. So, honestly, I look forward to his videos almost every day. That trip, 
he's in London right now. It was really dope with General and all them guys. And um, the fact that he said today it was for business and all expense even just makes it better. I mean, come on. Sorry if you hear my pen clicking, but just kind of play it with my pen while I fucking make this commentary. So yeah, for Call of Duty, it is four of the seven. We got Adapt, Rain, Temper, and Nuda. Then I'm going to move into the NHL. Um, I got two guys on here. First off, 2BC Productions. I've been watching these guys with when they still had their original channel. And they, before they even partnered with eSports, so like beginning of NHL 12 and the NHL 11 when I started watching 2BC, I watched um, 2BC seriously before I had a YouTube account. I remember making my first YouTube account, let's see, 17 now, so about six years ago. And I was like 10 or 11. My friend's like, did you sub the Johnny Superman? I'm like, hell yeah, I did, dude. Superman, he's kind of changed a little bit in my eyes. He didn't really do as much NHL content and everything. Then again, NHL hasn't really been good since Next Gen has came out, so I understand why. But it's just hard when someone, like, you, they stop doing what you got into that, like, watching them for. So, I mean, if he ever goes back to NHL, dude, Superman, I fucking love you. I still watch your vids, dude. So, yeah, you, I mean, I remember in the main, first main channel, you guys, like, 10k when I subbed you. Now you have like 220k on like your second channel, which is now your main channel. <laughs> That's kind of confusing. Then um number six, I guess you could say, are the second NHL community. Is not like I said, none of this is in any order. Like top seven is the top seven. The honorables are the honorables, and my friend, like I said, are the people I support the most. So but the other um YouTuber I watch that is NHL is Nash61. He's recently made a comeback. He grinded vid um videos all through high school. Then when he went to college, it kind of you know, stop. But he's out now. He actually got married, and now he's totally back, which is so so awesome. Like, dude, you are awesome. I remember um the other day I commented on one of your videos, and I, you started up your Road to the Lost series again, and you're like, "All right, guys," and uh, all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, I remember watching you do this with the Oilers back in the day. He's like, "That's crazy. You remember that the song?" I'm like, I'm serious. I, I've been around the NHL community for that long. I wish I'd been around the COD community for that long, cause I honestly don't know where I'd be today if I'd been around the COD community that long. In a way, I have, but I really haven't been into it. I really wish I would have been. That's it's it just kills me because I don't know where I'd be right now. So yeah, Nasher and I, like I said, Ben NHL though. And I remember when he had under a thousand subs. I remember him coming out with his one K subs rep and all that stuff. And then it's like ten K subs rep. It was just all so hyped. I mean, a lot of memories with Nasher and Two BC both. Um, Two BC, I was like the biggest fan. Boy, I would try and add all them guys on Xbox. I remember one time I added all of Johnny Super Ben's friends list, and one of them invited me to a party, and they were all there, and I was like, "Holy shit, it's Two BC!" But I got to talk to everyone. Domsky, Rhodes, Prey, Ray, and um, let's see, only other thing, Ro Kryptonite, I talked to, but I never got to talk to Super Ben himself, which kind of did suck. Um, so, um, if I ever get big, I would love to do a collab with them and honestly, like, make my 12-year-old fucking childhood dreams come true, because that would just be so awesome. And the last guy I'm going to talk to, he's kind of like a hybrid. He's Call of Duty, but, like, he's stories, too. It's, um, I'm not magic. I'm not magic. He tells a lot of stories, and he hasn't uploaded it in about four months, I think it was. I remember a couple months ago on Twitter, he made some bet or something with, like, his fans. He's like, if Kobe did this or something in this game... Then um, I'll upload a video f videos for a week straight, and he did. And seriously, that was so awesome because he hasn't uploaded in so long. Let's go to I'm Not Magic real quick. Drew, this is my man. I'd love to meet this guy too. Let's see. Yeah, he hasn't uploaded in four months. Honestly, I feel that, like if he took it like not really seriously because his shit is awesome, but like if he did like live comms every day and just like stories like periodically, his stories would be bigger. And um, seriously, he has 45k subs now. I think he could honestly be at a mill if he really grinded this shit like he um could have but, but i mean dude that's your choice i love watching you so yeah guys like i said i'm not gonna go over my all my honorables again because there's a lot in there but um, I, like i said my boys my fucking brothers the friends category but it's like brothers category honestly nor is mru osr catfish too support them guys more than anyone because they give the support back to me you guys are so fucking awesome and i can't um thank you guys enough for everything you've done for me while i've been on this youtube grind the past couple months i really hope i can make it to where my goal is in the next year then i got my top seven is adapt rain temper nuda 2bc nash 61 i'm not magic please feel free to comment your favorite seven youtubers down below sorry this video is about 20 minutes long but I mean, I don't know, it's just a crazy topic. I honestly could have talked longer. I actually tried to shorten some of the stories I had about these guys. So maybe, you know, one day I'll kind of talk about, like, my history with NHL and stuff all like that. Because, honestly, I feel like I can rant for a really long time on that. So other than that, guys, this is your boy, King of Mall. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment your favorite seven YouTubers down below. And until next time, I am out. Peace.